on the twenty-third day of the month of September. In an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence, and this terrifying enemy surfaced as such enemies often do. In the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places. Seymour, oh, what's going on down there? What did you break now, Crowborn? Ah, so she finally decides to come to work. Good morning, Mr. Mushnick. Well, my morning. What morning? It's almost closing time. Not that we had any customers. Who has customers when you run out of flower shop on Skid Row? I'm sorry, Mr. Mushnick. Seymour, what in the name of God is going on down there? Very little, Mr. Mushnick. Audrey, Audrey, would you go down and see what he's? Wow, where did you get that shiner? Shiner? Audrey, that greasy boyfriend of yours is beating up on you again. I know it's none of my business, but I'm beginning to think he's maybe not such a nice boy. You don't meet nice boys when you live in Skid Row, Mr. Mushnick. I got those pots unloaded for you, Mr. Mushnick. <laughs> Seymour, look what you've done to the inventory. Don't yell at Seymour, Mr. Mushnick. Oh, Audrey, you look radiant today. Is that new eye makeup? I'll uh, I'll help him clean it up before any of the customers get here. Well, that ought to give you plenty of time. Look, God, what an ex what an existence I have. Misfit employees, bums on the sidewalk, business is lousy. My life is an utter living hell. Hey, you urchins, move, move, go away. Off that stoop. The alarm goes off at seven, and you start up town. Put in your eight hours for the power that has always been. Oh, I know I've worked far more than that. Tell it's 5 p.m. Well, 6 around this part. Stupid flower shop. Then you go. Downtown. Where the folks are broke, you go downtown. Where your life's a joke, you go downtown. Where you buy your token, you go. Home to Skid Row. Yeah, you go downtown, where the cabs don't stop Downtown, where the food is slop Downtown, where the hotheads flop in the snow Down on Skid Row That's when you go downtown, where the guys are drips. Downtown, where they rip your slips. Downtown, where relationships are no go. Down on Skid Row. Down on Skid Row. Down on Skid Row. Down on Skid Row. All my life. what I'm for and he tells me gee I'm not sure sweep that floor kid oh I started life as an orphan a child of the street here on Skid Row he 
he took me and gave me shelter, a bed, a crust of bread, and a job. Treats me like dirt and calls me a slob, which I am. So I live downtown. That's your home address. You live downtown. When your life's a mess, you live downtown. Where depression's just status quo. Someone show me a way to get out of here Cause I constantly pray I'll get out of here Please won't somebody say I'll get out of here Someone give me my shot or I'll rot here Show me how and I will I'll get out of here I'll start climbing uphill and get out of here Someone tell me I still couldn't get out of here Someone tell Lady Luck that I'm stuck here Gee, it sure would be swell to get out of here Bid the gutter farewell and get out of here I'd move heaven and hell to get out of skin I'd do I don't know what to get out of skin But a hell of a lot to get out of skin People tell me there's not a way out of skin but believe me, I gotta get out of Skid Row. Look at that. Six o'clock. We haven't sold us so much as a fern. That's it. Forget it. Don't bother coming in tomorrow. You don't mean. You can't mean. What? What don't I mean? I mean I'm closing. Forget it. Kaput. But you can't. Kaput. Extinct. I'm closing this god and customer forsaken place. M Mr. Mushnick, forgive me for saying so, but has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the firm needs is to move in a new direction? What Seymour's trying to say, Mr. Mushnick, is, well, we've talked about it and both agreed. Seymour, why don't you run downstairs and bring up that strange and interesting new plant that you've been working on? You see, Mr. Mushnick, some of these... Exotic plants Seymour's been tinkering around with are really unusual. Well, we both think that maybe some of those strange and interesting new plants prominently displayed and ad advertised would attract business. I'm afraid it isn't fe feeling very well today. There. Now isn't that bizarre? <laughs> At least. What kind of weird old plant is that, Seymour? I, I don't know. I think it's some kind of fly trap, but I haven't been able to identify it in any of my books. I gave it my own name, though. I call it a, an Audrey too. After me? Oh, I, I hope you don't mind. You see, sir, if you were to put a strange and interesting plant like this here in the window, then, then maybe... Maybe what? Maybe what? Uh, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Just because you put a strange plant in the window, people don't just suddenly... Excuse me, I couldn't help noticing that strange and interesting plant. What is it? It's an Audrey too. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> no one has. Where did you get it? Well, you remember that total eclipse of the sun about a week ago? I was walking in the wholesale flower district that day. Shoot. And I passed by this place where this old Chinese guy, well, he sometimes sells me exotic cuttings. Snip, Because he knows that my hobby is strange plants. He didn't have anything unusual that day. Nope. So I was just about to, you know, walk on by. Good for you. When suddenly, and without warning, there was this total, total eclipse, eclipse of, the of the sun, sun. And it got very dark, and I heard a strange humming sound, like something from another world. Da when the lights came back on, this weird plant was just sitting there. Oops, da Just stuck in, you know? Like with the azaleas. Audrey too. I could have sworn that it hadn't been there before, but the old Chinese man sold it to me anyway, for a dollar ninety-five. Well, that is an unusual story, and a fascinating plant. Oh, 
I might as well take fifty dollars worth of roses while I'm here. Fifty dollars? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Can you break a hundred? A hundred? No. Well, then I'll have to take twice as many. Twice as many? Twice as many? Twice as many? Yes, sir. Let me go ahead and wrap those up for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Be right on your way. Thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and wrap you up some flowers. Yes, take any. Come, take. Come inside. Come inside. It's still open. Thank you. Come again. Come in and look and look at the weirdo plant some more. It's it's just going to be getting bigger and more interesting. I don't 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 don't, don't just stand there. Quick, quick. Put the plant. Put the plant back. Uh, what 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 do you call it? It's an Audrey two. Put the Audrey two back in the in the window. So where passes by, where passes by can see it. I, I never thought that this could happen. Oh, my children, I'm taking us all out to dinner tonight. Oh, I'd, I'd love to, Mr. Mushnick, but I have a date. I'm telling you, Audrey, you don't need a date with him. You need Major Medical. He ain't a good, clean kind of boy. But Mr. Mushnick, he's a professional. What kind of professional drives a motorcycle and wears a black jacket? He's a rebel, Mr. Mushnick, but he makes good money. Besides, he's the only fella I got. Enjoy dinner. Good night, Seymour. Good, good night, Audrey. Poor girl. Are we still going out? Mm. You're not going anywhere, Crowborn. You're staying right here and taking care of that sick plant. How come it's falling apart? How come it's fainting all the time? I told you, it's been giving me trouble. It just wilts like... Like this. Audrey 2 is not a healthy girl. Strictly between us, neither is Audrey 1. Well, if I only knew what breed it was. Who cares about what breed it was? Look at what it's done for business. Work. Nurse this plant back to health. I'm counting on you. I know. You do? I do. So fix it. Good night. <laughs> ah, Tui. I don't know what else I can do for you. Are you sickly, an old plant, or are you just plain stubborn? What is it that you want? What is it that you need? I've given you sunshine. I've given you dirt. You've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. I'm begging you sweetly. I'm down on my knees. Oh, please. Grow for me I've given you plant food And water to sip I've given you potash You've given me zip I'll tell you how I missed you Oh pod how you tease So please Grow for me I've given you southern exposure To get you to thrive I've pinched you back hard, like I'm supposed to, you're barely alive. I've tried to lay levels of moisture, from desert to mud. I've given you grow lights and mineral supplements, what do you want from me, blood? Ah! Damn roses. Thorn got me. Ugh. Look what I did. Hey, you opened up. What? I wonder what made you do that. Uh, I think I know what made you do that. Seriously? Blood? I've given you sunlight. I've given you rain. Looks like you're not happy. Unless I open a vein. I'll give you a few drops. If that'll appease. Oh, please. Oh, uh, oh, please. Grow for me.